Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is for July 2022. It is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we are going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on this month. And since we're starting a couple days late, take it into August a few days as well. If you would like a personal reading, I'm available for those as well. The information is in the description box below. If you don't see the description box, I noticed on some of the videos that they've changed things a bit. Right underneath the title, there's a little tiny word that says more, and you can tap on that or right below the title. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. And all the information will be there or in the about section of my channel. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys. I hope everybody's well. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy cancer season to everyone. Those that have passed, happy belated. I hope you're all doing well. If you've celebrated the 4th, I hope you enjoyed it. Yep, these don't want to shuffle. So let's see what's going on for you guys. So the overall energy, we've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. There's a couple of things coming through for that. Um, as we go, I'll kind of go over it and then we'll get the clarifiers and then we'll get into you and your person as well after we do the main reading. So the seven of cups in reverse can indicate that there's a lot less confusion. Maybe you've narrowed down some ideas that you've had and figured out which thing you need to focus on most. And if you haven't yet, I think that's going to be your priority for this month is to really, sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit, I just noticed that not very stable. If there is something that's been weighing on your mind, like if you've had a lot of ideas about um, how you'd like to do a creative project or something that you want to do with work, some kind of change that you want to make, and maybe you were all over the place, it could even be with that move that we've been talking about for some of you. Do you stay? Do you go? Do you have a lot of options? All of that seems to be coming into play for the month and you're narrowing things down. It's just to give you the ability to truly focus on one or two things instead of having your energy spread thin for this particular month. All right, so in the current energy, we have the devil in reverse, the ten of pentacles. You're releasing something around feeling like you don't have enough, which is great because that can be a, a toxic cycle that people tend to live in, especially cancers, because we need stability. And I say we, if you don't know and you haven't been with me, I am a cancer as well. It's difficult for a cancer to feel unstable or like they don't have enough. Security is everything for you guys. So it feels like you're right now getting through releasing that type of energy and knowing that you're supported no matter what. Even if things don't look quite the way that you were hoping at this point, it's enough to just release the energy around the fear that money isn't going to show up. So I think that's going to be out of your mind for this particular month and things are going to start looking like they're finally coming together. So in the near future, yep, we have the five of pentacles. That makes sense. You're walking away from that feeling of lack or the feeling of feeling like people abandon you or just feeling left out and focusing the energy back on yourself. There's going to be a lot less conflict, internal conflict in the near future because you're starting this new solar year. Um, it feels like you just don't want to focus on those things anymore. And then we have the hermit card. So at times you may find yourself needing to sort of be a recluse. At times you do that. We, we have a tendency to get back in our shell when we have to focus on something that is extremely important to us. You've gained a lot of wisdom, obviously. If you've been with me, you, you guys know if you're new and you're just starting to watch videos, it can be tough because we're all on different timelines. But in general, because this is a basic energy for you all, there is going to be some reflection time in the near future about the choices that you've made, about the things that you have released, about the, the lack of a need to know exactly how things are going to turn out. All right, so what you don't see coming is the Eight of Swords with the Queen of Wands and then the World. That's perfect. It's beautiful energy. The Eight of Swords can be restriction and it feels like at times you may think you're stuck, but the Queen of Wands is overcoming any kind of stuck or um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not just feeling stuck, but almost trapped 
in your mind, it can be physically feeling trapped or like something's been holding you back. But the Queen of Wands comes in with the world to say, you have everything that it takes. She's extremely inspired. She's confident. And the world is saying that everything is about to shift and change. And this is a big step for you. So this month is going to be a big turning point for those of you that are really focused on regaining the the sense of self-worth, that value, the things that can slip away at times when we get a little nervous about what's going to happen, you know, the outcome of things. So what Spirit wants you to focus on, the Five of Swords, staying strong, the Two of Pentacles, making sure you make clear decisions, and temperance, having patience while things unfold for you. So he's standing there having beaten a few people, if you will, and he knows that he's got the power. He's got the authority over his mental state. He can cut anything out of his life. He doesn't have to focus on the things that used to restrict him or hold him back anymore. It really is a, a mental th thought process that we tend to get stuck in when we're overwhelmed with a lot of options or where things stand in our life. And I think you're allowing yourself to just kind of be freer in your mental state, which is great. It gives you much more space to focus on you, your confidence, your next steps, and the changes that you'd like to make. So do we have a challenge? We have the challenge as the Page of Wands. So I'm going to set him over here. It could be this new way of doing things, this new perspective that you're trying to gain. It's like putting the old in the past. It's funny because I don't know for sure when I watch some things in the spiritual community, if you will, like you all do. There was something going around about how last night was a portal, the fourth to the fifth. And if that's the case and you chose to jump into a new dimension, go from the third to the fifth, I believe it was, or the fourth to the fifth. If you are now jumping into that and you want to live from a whole new perspective, that's what the Page of Wands is saying. It's like it's a new beginning. He's looking up at the top of this with such ambition and such um, an open mind. To I don't have to hold on to the way that it used to look. It doesn't have to look the same if I choose it not to. So let's see what we get with the clarifiers. So with the Seven of Cups in reverse, let's see what we get to clarify that. We have the Strength card. So you're having the strength, right, to narrow things down, the courage to push through any kind of challenges that you may have had, the King of Pentacles, this feels like somebody who could be coming along that's very stable, that knows exactly what they want in their life. This could also be you. Maybe you're finally feeling like you can demonstrate that power and that strength. Could be over your finances, your work situation. You're stepping it up a notch and taking back control. It feels like you're taking back control of your financial life, your mental state, all of those things. It's really nice, especially when you've taken the time to narrow things down so that you can focus just on one or two things instead of so many different things at once. And then the four of wands. Yeah, you've thought about this a lot. It's obviously been a, a process that you've had to work through. Lots of, like I said before, mental energy, things that you wanted to work through. And now you're releasing a lot of that, which is great. The devil in reverse with the ten of pentacles, two of swords. It's not going to be difficult to make decisions from this point on. So the beginning of your season into your next season, this year, it's going to be much easier. It feels like a more fluid energy, so you're not going to have as difficult of a time making choices. All right, so the Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Swords in reverse, we have the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is having so much either energy, um, financial resources, things like that, that you can give freely without feeling as though it's taking away from you, which is great. It's very difficult for cancers not to give, but it's been so important for you guys to work through understanding that you've got to give to yourself first before you can give to others so that you don't lose a sense of stability, especially with your finances. Because I know how you guys are. You'd give the shirt off your back to anyone who needed it but no longer, especially when you feel like people just don't support you in the same way. And that's just going to be hard to find. I'm not going to lie. You guys know that you're a one of a kind. Cancers came into this life 
to learn a lot of very specific lessons, especially around the mother energy, and also how to give of yourselves, but have the expectation that somebody meets you where you are, but also with the understanding that not everybody's going to match your energy exactly. You're just one of the most special <laughs> when it comes to giving of your love. And that if you're a cross watcher and you have a cancer that's not like that, then you're dealing with a low vibrational one. Don't know why I felt the need to say that, but I did. Okay, five of pentacles with the five of wands in reverse. See the 10 of swords is right there in reverse saying you're over this. You're done focusing your energy on the things that either haven't worked, have betrayed you, no longer feeling like you're left out in the cold. It's not worth focusing that energy on. You've gained too much wisdom at this point, so your strength is building around that. I like that. You're building that muscle. Five of Wands in reverse with the Hermit. There's that Seven of Cups to clarify the Seven of Cups. It isn't as difficult. It doesn't feel like your brain's going to be all over the place this month. You're going to be very focused on the things that really matter to you, and I think it's going to be around your strength, your self-worth, focusing on you giving back to you it's going to be really important to do that while you make all these changes that seem so necessary at this point eight of swords with the queen of wands and then we have the knight of cups so anything that doesn't make you happy isn't going to be able to stay in your life you know that you've been doing this for a long time where you've had to push things out that aren't fulfilling you that you just don't really love anymore and if it doesn't feel good you shouldn't do it all right, so the Queen of Wands with the world, the Hierophant in reverse. At times, yes, you could, especially if you're single, you could have lost faith that you would ever find someone who is going to be a good partner for you. I don't think that's the case. I think as you make these shifts and changes and you really get comfortable, really, really comfortable in your own skin, it's going to be a lot easier for you to attract the energy that you desire. For those of you in a relationship, we'll see what happens when we get to that portion of it because I'm not picking up on anything specific for couples right now. Five of Swords with the Two of Pentacles. There's that Five of Wands in reverse again. So there just isn't a need. I don't think you feel that you need to compete with anybody else. I think a lot of you have finally realized each of us are so different and we bring something so different and beautiful to this experience that it isn't worth bothering with looking at how other people are doing things. There's a million tarot readers out there. You can be just as good. And whatever is meant to be brought to you, for example, is going to be brought to you. You don't have to fight for it. It doesn't matter how many people do the same thing. I just keep wanting to say that. For those of you that want to get started in an industry where it's been flooded, it still is supported for you if that's what you feel you're driven to focus on, right? Everybody's going to have the energies brought to them that are meant for them. Only you have the experiences that you do. I always try to tell this to people that I've worked with that are getting into this industry is each person that needs your advice or your specific um, skill set is going to be drawn to your energy. So just know that it's the same thing in any business. Whether you're in sales, whether you're a corporate, I don't even care if you sit at a desk and you're an accountant. There's something about what you do that brings the right type of energy to your environment. Okay, the two of pentacles with temperance and then the tower in reverse. So there aren't going to be a lot of major surprises this month. There's that eight of swords. You're getting a lot of double cards. At times, you may feel like you still need to break through some of these overwhelming mental thoughts, but then... As I giggle through that, the Ten of Pentacles, again, a double confirmation, but before it was in reverse, now it's in the upright. So understanding that I think you've been through the toughest part of what you're going to go through. You have a better understanding of how to move forward and you've released yourself from a lot of your, your mental, um, I want to say self-talk, things that were negative self-talk. Uh, bringing yourself down, thinking you're not good enough. All of that stuff is about to shift. And as you do that, that's what helps draw the things that are really abundant into your life. So this month seems to be bringing in some kind of either a financial reward. You'll start to see that your sales are going to pick up or you're going to get, if you're a reader, you're going to get more 
readings from people. Things are going to start flowing. And this year will probably show you that all that hard work was worth it because you've gained all the wisdom that you've needed in order to get to this point where you can really thrive. So six of pentacles, or I'm sorry, six of cups is coming out. A lot of past energies, people that were in your past that don't recognize you anymore, meaning you've changed so much, they're going to watch from the sidelines as you thrive. It's not about the jealousies and the things like that. Sure, some of us want people to watch us win. I get that, especially those that haven't been supportive, but it isn't about that. And I don't think you care as much about that anymore. I think more of what you're focused on is what's just going to make you happy. And if other people get to see you win, fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and clear this and we'll get into the person that's on your mind. So think about them for just a moment. And we will see what's going on there. All right, this is for Cancer and their person, please. I just saw the Ten of Cups. Okay, so your person's energy is the Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Wands in reverse. I just got an interesting message. This person is showing up with a lot of reversals, but it feels like this person's not wanting to offer themselves to other people. It may seem like they're a little bit shut off emotionally. I think they're just a tad bit guarded, but it seems like they just want to enjoy really getting to know you. If you've been in a relationship for a long time and you're questioning whether this person wants to be with you, if they're shut off emotionally, I just think it's because they're trying to protect themselves in some way. I don't think it's personal. It usually isn't about you. If they've lost interest and you feel like there is a lack of that or you've broken away from somebody I think you have a better understanding of why it had to happen the way that it did. So I don't want to confuse you too much. For those of you that are in something and it's newer, this person wants to have a really good time. For those of you that have been in a relationship for a long period of time, and this person seems to be shutting down. It could be that it's time to move forward. And you'll recognize that, yeah, it sucks. But sometimes those relationships are meant to end so that it can open you up into a brand new experience. So I, that's easier said than done. I understand that. But there is always purpose behind why people start acting a certain way and why their energy seems to shift and change. Uh, even if you thought you were going to be with somebody forever, sometimes it just isn't right. And maybe you're starting to recognize that for some of you. Okay, so your energy is the two of wands here. Yeah. Not really focusing too much on a future necessarily, especially in a newer situation. I think you're just focused on following the things that bring you so much love and joy. And maybe you're just spreading yourself out a little bit and wanting to share that love and energy with different people. The five of wands in your energy with the three of pentacles in reverse. If you don't feel like things are coming together, um, you've learned enough from this training, if you will, that you don't need to allow things to hold you back or bring you down. That's why I say you're going to be focusing a lot more on the things that bring you joy. And if for some reason this person seems shut down, maybe they're spending a little bit too much time with their friends. And maybe you're just not as focused right now on what that future looks like. It feels like go with the flow energy. On the bottom, we have the full in reverse. I don't think you want to take any chances right now, especially because most of you have been through so many painful relationships to get to this point that you just kind of want to take things easy. I'm going to say working on your confidence, especially during your birthday season and focusing on the things that are work related or uh, creative project, things like that could be taking your focus away from your relationships, not because you don't want them, just because if somebody's not going to show up for you, I think it's going to be a lot easier for you to step away and focus your energy on the things that do bring you joy. Let's see what we've got here. You deserve love. You are lovable. Of course you do. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, which is what I believe you're doing anyway. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And then we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. For those of you who are in an unfulfilling relationship that you've been in for quite some time, then you need to make a choice for yourself. And I know that's never easy, 
some of you could be uh, dealing with having children and that could be part of the reason why you've stayed for such a long period of time. For those of you in a newer situation, maybe you need to make a decision about this. Maybe you have a good time with this person, but if they aren't emotionally available, you could be just like, that's fine. <laughs> I'll go give it to somebody who really wants it. There's confirmation from the lawn people. Let's see what we've got here and then we'll get some advice as well. What's the lover's oracle have for cancer? Let's see, we've got my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. And then secret admire, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Hmm, you'll know if that resonates for you. Trust transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. That's a lot easier said than done as well. And then we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Sometimes we just need the relationship to be healed as we walk away from it. Even if you want to work through things with somebody and you're not ready to give up, you can do that, no doubt. I just want to be clear that my understanding is when something's not meant for us anymore, things will get really, really uncomfortable and difficult until we realize that we deserve better. And that's really why that happened. It feels cruel at times. I know I've been there where I've been like, why? Why does it have to be that I love this person so much, but yet they don't feel the same way or they're not showing up for you? Because it's a difficult lesson. Let's see what the advice is for you guys. We have, there's that King of Cups. If they're not available and they don't know how to show up, it is truly a lesson for you to value yourself more. It shouldn't be hard for you to make that choice. Yeah, don't put your energy into things. Just keep looking. Three of Wands, it's kind of the advice of, you know that there's more out there, even if at times you get frustrated that the right one hasn't shown up. The Three of Wands is like really waiting because you value yourself so much that you're not going to accept anything less than everything that you desire. I think it's important for a lot of you to understand that you have to be very clear about what you want, depending on what stage of your life you're in. Also, depending on um, how you've shifted and changed through this process, if you've been through the waking up process, it's going to be important for you to know exactly what it is that you're expecting to come in. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. This is for Cancer. What do we have? So we have the Yin energy. You could be balancing out. It's really beautiful. Balancing out your masculine and feminine. So you could be feeling a little bit more of your feminine energy, regardless of your gender, this month. Not for you. You know what's not for you anymore. You could be born on the 2nd or the 6th. Um, the happy birthday to those of you born on the 6th, that's tomorrow, but you know what's not for you anymore. Um, the fortune cookie is sitting right in that card and there's that little tab, I think, with a writing on it hanging out and I've never really focused on that. And it's like, you know what is really going to bring you that fortune, right? What's going to create the joy and happiness that you deserve and you know that it's worth waiting for that specific cookie, if you will. That's a really funny way to put it, sorry. Okay, keep moving, a change in the wind. Yes, you're a very different person than you used to be. For some of you, yes, this could be that move we've been talking about. And, or, you know, just a feeling of, I need to shift. This is my energy shifting. Some of you could be born on the 12th as well, or the third. And then we have a leg up. If you have any questions about your work situation and you're concerned, that you don't have what it takes, that's not true. I was telling you before, your confidence is growing, things are about to shift, you have a leg up on the competition. So just don't worry about it. It doesn't, you, the only person you should be competing with is yourself and not other people. And that's a really hard lesson to learn. You could be 34 or born on the seventh, like me. All right, let's see the last one. We have soulmates. Those of you that are really truly waiting for that mate, we know that penguins mate for life. It's worth waiting for that one. Even if you're frustrated because they haven't come yet, of course, it's going to be different for all of you when that shows up. You could be 41 or born on the 5th. If you are born on the 5th, happy, happy birthday. 
you know, definitely leave me a comment. Tell me your birth date. I'd love to know all the people that are born on the same day as I am. I'm 7'7", 7, 7, 70, and yes, I'll give my age away, 71. So I'll be 51 this birthday. It's crazy. Uh, but I'd love to hear from all my 7'7s, seven all of you. You know, I'd love to connect with you as much as possible. All right, so for those of you, again, that are looking for that lifetime partner, this is an indication that it's worth waiting for because that's the one that you know you can spend the rest of your time with if you choose to. Okay, my loves, like I said, happy birthday to all of you. I love you so much. Thank you for all of your support. Um, as I've said before, if you could hit that like button, share the video or comment, it so, so helps. I noticed when I don't post for a bit that they start pulling away my subscribers. So check your subscriptions, check your notifications, all that good stuff if you wanna keep getting the videos. And if you'd like the personal reading, as I said, it's underneath the video title where it says more, click that button and it'll take you to the information or you can go to the about section of my channel. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have an amazing month and I'll see you in the next one.